Lars Christensen. Lars Christensen, 6 April 1884, 10 December 1965, was a Norwegian Schipauner and whaling magnate. He was also a philanthropist with a keen interest in the exploration of Antarctica. Career, Rur. Lars Christensen was born at Sander in Vestfold, Norway. Born into a wealthy family, Christensen inherited his whaling fleet from his father, Kristen Christensen. After completing middle school in 1899, he received training in Germany and at Newcastle followed by Trade College in Christiania, now Oslo. He started his career as a ship owner in 1906. He ventured into the whaling industry in 1909 and directed several companies, including Framnes Mechanisk Verkstad, as Thor Dahl, as Odd as Ornan, as Thorsholm, and Bride Ogdahl's H. Valfings Selskap. Christensen was Danish consul in Sandefjord from 1909. In 1910, Lars Christensen had married Ingrid Dahl, 1891-1976, daughter of wholesale merchant and ship owner Thor Dahl, 1862-1920. He would later assume control of large part of his father's and his father-in-law's extensive businesses following their deaths during the 1920s. Endurance, the ship that became famous after Sir Ernest Shackleton's failed Imperial Trans-Antarctic Expedition of 1914, was originally built for Christensen, who intended to use her for Arctic cruises for tourists to hunt polar bears. When this did not happen, Christensen sold the ship to Shackleton. Christensen had a deep interest in Antarctica and its animal life. He was particularly interested in making geographical discoveries and gave his captains wide latitude to do so. He financed several expeditions specifically devoted to the exploration of the Antarctic continent and its waters, and participated in some of these himself, even bringing his wife Ingrid with him in the 1936-1937 expedition. He was among the first to use aerial surveying with seaplanes to map the coast of East Antarctica, which he completed from the Weddell Sea to the Shackleton Ice Shelf, concentrating on Bouvetoya and the region from Enderby Land to Coates Land. From the seaplane brought on the 1936-1937 expedition, members took 2,200 oblique aerial photographs, covering 6,250 square miles, 16,200 km2. Mrs. Christensen became the first woman to fly over the continent. On 1 December 1927, as the leader of one of his financed expeditions, Christensen landed on and claimed the Bouvet Island Bouvetoya for Norway. It had previously been claimed by Great Britain, but the British soon abandoned their claim and recognized the island as Norwegian. On the expeditions he financed between 1927 and 1937, Christensen's men discovered and surveyed substantial new land on the Droning Maud Land and Mac Robertson Land coasts. Places in Antarctica named after Christensen include the Lars Christensen Peak, the Lars Christensen Coast, as well as Lars Christensen Land, also known as Mac Robertson Land, where the now closed Russian Soyuz station operated. In addition, Ingrid Christensen Coast was named after Christensen's wife, one of the first women to visit Antarctica. During World War Roman II, Christensen was Counselor of Finance at the Royal Norwegian Embassy in Washington, D.C., and a member of the Nortorship Council. After the war, the Thor Dahl Group, under the leadership of Christensen, regained its position as one of the leaders in the industry. The business also gained an increasing number of other shipping companies, both tankers and liner shipping. Philanthropy Together with Otto Sverdrup and Oscar Wisting, Christensen initiated an expedition to recover another famous ship, the Fram. In 1935, the Fram was installed in the museum, where it now stands, the Fram Museum in Oslo. Sandefjord Whaling Museum H. Valfings Museet I. Sandefjord was donated to Sandefjord in 1917. This was one of the first dedicated museum buildings in Norway. In his travels, Christensen collected a considerable volume of literature, including much on the subject of whaling. His interests included research as well as merely supporting the industry. 
This material was donated to the Library of Sand of Jord Museum in the 1920s and 1930s. Christensen also provided funds for the further expansion of the Whaling Museum's library, which was overseen by shipping broker, author, and consultant Bjarne Agard 1873-1956, whose extensive book collection also formed a major addition to the library. The Whalers Monument H. Balfinks Monumentet was first unveiled in 1960. The rotating bronze memorial statue is situated by the harbor at the end of Germainaline in Sandefjord. The monument was created by Norwegian sculptor Nutstein. The costs associated with the design and construction of the sculpture were donated to the city by Lars Christensen. In 1962, Christensen funded the cost of the construction of Olav Chapel Olafskapelet in Sandefjord. Outside the building is a relief of St. Olav by sculptor Ragnhild Butenskin. The frame around the front door shows Bible motifs, designed by Finn Henrik Bodvin. The altar image was painted by Hugo Luz Mower. Honors Related reading Lars Christensen, 1938 my Last Expedition to the Antarctic, 1936-1937, Oslo, Johan Grontanum, Hans S. I. Bojan, 1955-70-R, Lars Christensen, Og Hans, Samtid Oslo, Johan Grontanum, 1955-70-R,